Good morning, people. Watch Women 65, Lisa Boyce. I'm going to give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ spilled his blood for our past, present, and future sins, was buried, and rose again on the third day. You will never lose your salvation. Keep that in mind. But does that give you a license to sin? No. I'm never advocating that. What I am advocating is the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit changes you. Not all at once, but the Holy Spirit indwells in you, and over time, you are changed. And people can argue about that all they want, but it's true, because it happened to me. It is grace through faith in Christ alone that we're saved. Not of ourselves, not of works, lest any man should boast. It is grace that God gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believe in him. Key word is believe will not perish but have eternal life. Anybody who comes to you and says there's more to it than just believing, run from them because they're false. The only requirement for salvation in this dispensation of grace is believing. Believing in what Christ accomplished at the cross for our past, present, and future sins. It is the blood of Jesus. Romans says that we are justified by the blood of Jesus. It is not like in the Old Testament. It is different. We're in a different dispensation. If you want to learn more about dispensations and dispensational salvation, look up Robert Breaker's videos about dispensation. It will change your outlook. And it will make the Bible crystal clear. Because the whole Bible is for us, but the whole Bible is not about us. He's got excellent videos, and he points it out step by step, verse by verse. I'm here to give you the simple, simplified version of salvation. It is believing in what Christ has already done at the cross. That's how you're saved. Anybody who tells you another gospel, let them be accursed. Paul said that in the book of Galatians, O foolish Galatians who have bewitched you into believing another gospel. Anybody who comes to you and preaches another gospel, let them be accursed. He was so eminent about it, he said it twice. You will never lose your salvation. Two things happen when you believe. The Holy Spirit indwells in you, number one, and number two, you're sealed until the day of redemption. I still don't understand what people's version of sealed means. It means that you are sealed, which means you will not lose your salvation. Once you believe and accept Christ as Savior. Any questions? That's the gospel. You don't take away from it and you don't add to it. It's the simple gospel that was handed down to Paul, the Apostle Paul, from the Lord himself. That's it. That's how you get saved. There is not a 12-step program. There is not a PDF file. A 2,000-page PDF file on salvation. Basically, it's broken down to one word. Believe. Well, we... Six words. Believe in the blood of Jesus for your sins. Nine words for your sins. That's it. That's it. <laughs> it's nothing more, nothing more, nothing less. Anybody goes around making videos saying, oh, it's more to it than that, or we have to do more than no. <laughs> no, not for salvation, no. No. That's why you're without excuse. You get stuck here in the tribulation, it's your fault. I'm just telling you like it is. It's your fault. I got to give you this article off of End Times Headlines. It is China is now backing Russia. 
after Putin warns West they'll regret crossing red line. When tensions, while tensions in the United between the United States and Russia continue to grow, China has just thrown in its support behind Vladimir Putin, calling the two nations comprehensive strategic partners of coordination in the new era. Now you see why salvation is important. Because not only are you saved, but you're rapture ready. Things are happening. So fast. And all this is biblical. All this is prophecy. This comes following a recent warning from Putin at a State of the Union address where the Russian president reminded Western leaders of the country's nuclear arsenal and warned the West not to cross the red line. He went further and warned that any country that dared provoke threats to Russia's fundamental security would regret it. This is what he said, Putin. Meanwhile, Foreign Ministry spokesperson Wang Weibin followed up the statement stating that China and Russia will continue to understand and support each other in safeguarding our respective sovereignty, security, and development interests. All of these nations are lined up. For the Great Tribulation. According to Newsweek, Putin hasn't officially ruled out Russia-China military alliance and in October he even stated that it was quite possible and pointed to the war games the two countries' armed forces participated in Russia's sharing of sensitive military technologies with China. Wang stated in January that China sees no limit for how far this Cooperation can go. While Russia and China's um, alliance continues to grow stronger, the relationship between Russia and the U.S. continues to deteriorate. Now, I have said this before. I'm going to mention this again. Now you see why Trump couldn't get back in office. It wasn't God's will. I told you that before. I'm saying it again. Everything has to happen Chaos has to break out. And like I, I had said this a few days ago in another video, I believe in my heart of hearts that everything is going to happen all at one time. It's not going to happen one by one. I believe everything is going to come together and happen at one time. It goes on to say we cannot allow a foreign power to interfere with our democratic process with impunity. Sleepy Joe said, he said he was clear with Putin that we could, we could have gone further, but I choose not to do so. I choose to be proportionate. Wayne criticized the decision to sanction Russia as power politics and bullying. The spokesperson added the sanctions gain no support and are increasingly rejected. We really do not want to burn bridges, but if someone mistakes our good intentions for indifferences or weaknesses and intends to burn or even blow up these bridges, they must know that Russia's response will be asymmetrical, swift, and tough. That's a threat from Putin. Still think we got a lot of time left? No. Not at all. Matter of fact, I'm, I will go further. I take it a step further. Time is up. It's just a matter of time now. We're just sitting here waiting to see what's going to happen. God is in control. And everything is in place. Everything is in place. As Barry says, we're sitting on G waiting on O. It's true. <coughs> It's true. 
I'm going to link this article in the description box. I couldn't do anything yesterday because I really didn't see anything last night worth reporting. But I'm going to keep an eye on this. I'm going to link articles on my blog and I will be um, I will try to be back later especially if anything else comes up. Earthquakes have been going off the chain. <coughs> Sorry, earthquakes have been rearing as so much today. I thank you for your support. I thank you for um, your prayers. I'm going to link this article in the description box and I will try to be back later. Thank you.